Hi guys, this is my off-road teardrop trailer build that I'm working on. It's built on a uh, five foot wide by eight foot long frame. Frames made out of two by two inch steel. So, gonna kind of show you guys a couple things on it real quick. Main thing I kind of want to point out and explain. I went and purchased a timber and axleless system to put on this. So I remember reading a couple threads when I initially started looking into these and a lot of people had questions, not a lot of people had had experience or seen these before, but essentially what these do is they bolt directly onto your frame and it eliminates the need to run an axle across the bottom of your trailer which improves your ground clearance quite significantly. With the combination of the suspension system, wheels and tires, I have a 20 inch ground clearance. And as you'll see, there's no axle running across. The flooring of this trailer is three quarter inch birch ply that I coated with a really thick oil based uh, polyurethane paint to kind of waterproof it. So, these springs on here are rated up to 1,200 pounds a piece. I felt like that was going to be significant, um, but after kind of building this trailer, I kind of wish I would have gone to their 2,000 pound option. They have an option that has a 2,000 pound capacity that I think is only $40 more than the 1,200 pound option that I paid for. So, just something to kind of think about. My flooring, I had to put a seam in it right here since it is five foot wide by eight foot long the sheets come in four by eight so I had to kind of make some adjustments and kind of waterproof that seam as best I could the other thing I wanted to point out is this door this teardrop trailer door that I was able to get I watched another guy do a build on YouTube Kevin Town and uh, he provided a pretty good hookup for a door so as you guys can see, this door is all framed, hinged, weatherproofed, does have a deadbolt on it, and uh, two keys, and I got both those keys, the locks work beautifully, and it just kind of bolts in along the side wherever you decide to cut that out at. So. This door cost me $125, sometimes they can run up to about $400, depending on kind of what you go with there. Some of them have windows, some of them are a little bit bigger. This one's 26 inches wide by 42 inches tall, which I think that'll be substantial enough. So, um, got some good off-road tires on here with quite a bit of tread. Being here in Utah, we have a lot of a lot of good mountainous territory and a lot of good trails and stuff so this thing will be able to handle some pretty good off-road terrain up here on the front I'm gonna mount a tongue box up here locking tongue box to keep all my stuff in um, eventually gonna swap out this coupler up here with a lock and roll hitch or something like that the overall build is gonna resemble the Moby One XDR platform it's gonna look very similar to that um, another thing I want to point out about these timber and axleless tires is if you kind of notice, the tires are slightly angled outwards a little bit. And what that does is that allows you, when you put weight on the trailer, it will bring the tire more straight after it takes its weight payload. So that way if you were to start out straight and then put weight on it, the tires will kind of curve in a little bit depending on how much weight you put on there. So, I think they're engineered incredibly well to allow for that. Um, where you're gonna have a wall on the end of that frame right there, with that tire slanting out a little bit, that'll make it so you're not putting weight on your tire and then dipping and hitting into the side of your wall there. So, um, they, they feel incredibly sturdy. Um, you have to assemble them yourself, um, the hubs and everything like that. You got to grease your own hubs and assemble them and pack your bearings with grease and everything. But 
overall very excited about these so as you can kind of see the uh, guy that built this frame for me welded these on a little bit there's a bracket up there that we welded onto the frame and then we bolted these on and then put a little bit of weld on there just to make sure they're super sturdy all my wiring has been waterproofed as it travels through the frame and the whole bottom of the flooring like I said it's been covered so all the steps are being taken to make sure that this thing's gonna be totally sealed up and waterproof and ready to go so next step is going to be to lay down some linoleum on this, put down a lot of protection and stuff like that, make sure that it's all waterproof, um, in case inside the cabin gets dirty, I can just pull the linoleum up and uh, clean it up, so it's getting exciting seeing it all come together, and uh, going to start putting some walls up here soon, which will be fun, so you guys have any other questions, want to know where I got stuff, or kind of the process behind any of this stuff, let me know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go full on electric with this thing yet. A lot of people are putting, you know, one or two batteries in it, in these builds and having AC and flat panels and all this stuff. Um, I don't think that really caters to me very much. I want it to be pretty minimalistic. I want it to still feel like I'm camping, um, but I want it to be pretty comfortable. So. I don't know, I kind of like the idea of just hanging a lantern up there and just having that for my light. Maybe using like a portable Bluetooth speaker or something like that if I want to listen to music, but as far as wiring, wiring it with everything and getting all that set up, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know the first thing about trailer electrical, so I'd have to do a lot of research if that's what I decide I want to do. Um, the other cool thing about this is I designed the frame wide enough to fit a full-size mattress by the time I take out the thickness of my walls. You can see I measured out the thickness of my walls where they're going to travel along the side and the inside diameter from here to here is going to be just wide enough to fit a full-size mattress and then I'll have my galley here in the back. So just a kind of simple galley back here and uh, also the width from tire to tire is no wider than my Tacoma so anywhere I can take my Tacoma or drive my Tacoma this thing can follow so pretty excited about it let me know if you guys have any questions thanks for watching